So today I'm going to test for the first time using my Tesla Model Y's uh, mobile charger. Uh, I have been using this, the Tesla wall connector, and that's connected to a 60 amp circuit and charges at 48 amps. And that's been working fine. But I wanted to try the mobile connector just in case I needed to use it uh, in a, on an emergency basis or whatever. Uh, so you have your little Tesla mobile connector kit. The kit comes with this adapter, which has uh, an end which plugs into the Tesla. And then the other end is a J1772 charging adapter, which many public charging stations have. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, you just uh, plug this into your car, plug that into the public charger, you're good to go. Uh, but today we're going to be using the mobile connector. Uh, now, right now, come on out here. My car has been set up uh, to charge at 48 amps and that's uh, you know you go into the Tesla app in your car you set it that way and I'm going to show you that current setup and what I want to confirm is that when I plug this mobile connector uh, and the other end is over here you can see it on the floor there when I plug that in that um, it automatically knows to drop the amperage down to nine amps and doesn't blow the circuit breaker. So, um, to start with, uh, why don't you pause it for a second. So, I'm on the charging screen. So basically you go here and then uh, you go to the up arrow for more things you touch charging no well, that didn't work it's because we're already at charging and um you can see my charge current is set to 48 amps uh nothing scheduled i'm currently on 56 i have 56 percent battery charge and i think i've got it set around 60 percent as a charge limit currently and uh, so I'm going to plug this in uh, to the mobile connector and let's see what happens. You can pause it. So I have this NEMA 515 adapter. This end goes into the mobile connector. And if you look inside there, if you come around from here, the light will go in there. You can see how those are going to mate. Mm -hmm. So, I'll plug it in. Oops, upside down. Alright, so that's plugged in there. Now I'm going to plug it into a standard 15 amp circuit. So that's plugged in. You can see the green flashing, well, green lights now. I guess it's initialized. And we'll come back over here. Now I should be able to either tap here or tap that. So I'll tap here. Opens my charge port. This looks blue. I just set it up there and push it all the way in. That should initialize. It's turned dark blue and should begin charging shortly. And now, um, let me take the camera here. Let's go over to the screen and see what the charge screen shows. Uh, charge port open. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be charging. I'm going to see if I've got this plugged in all the way. Says switch to scheduled charging. That's not working. I 
Okay, so that didn't work. I suspect I didn't have this thing pushed all the way in. So I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, I heard that lock that time. All right, pause it. Okay, so I did this twice and I screwed it up both times. Uh, I only had it in maybe half an inch and it, was, it wasn't uh, flashing green, it was just solid blue. And I, I really had to give a lot of push with a lot of force to get it seated in properly. So there, now this should begin flashing green. And there it goes, green. And now, if we look at the charge screen, see what it's doing. Okay. So, now this is a problem here because it's charging at 12 amps. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's perfect. 12 amps. Um, because it's a 15 amp circuit, it reduced its charge 80% to not overload the circuit, so it goes down to 12 amps. And I did not have to change anything. Uh, <laughs> but this is ridiculous, because this is saying it's gonna take 11 hours, 45 minutes, just to go from 56% charge to maybe 60 some percent <laughs> charge. Uh, well, anyway, obviously this is super slow and it's only for emergency use. I just wanted to verify that the thing would work. I'm glad I tested it because I might have freaked out if I ha actually needed it and didn't realize I wasn't pushing the thing in far enough to make the connection. Now I'm going to go back to my regular Tesla wall connector and verify that it knows automatically to go to um, automatically back to 48 amps without me having to go into the app and changing anything. All right, so I'm going to get my wall connector and let's get it untangled from my microphone here. And we'll open the port. We'll put it in. Let that negotiate. That's green. That's green, you can see it's charging. Okay, pause it. So now we're to the charge screen and you can see that it automatically switched to my previous setting of 48 amps. I did not have to go into the app to, the app to do it. It just knew to do it. And that's what I wanted to see. And I'm happy to see that that's how it works. It's all automatic, idiot proof. And <laughs> there it is. So uh, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.